Hi, welcome to the Knitting Samurai Plus One video podcast. I'm your host, Steph, and this is episode 72. Hey! <laughs> Sunday afternoon, no, Saturday afternoon. Sorry it's taken me so long to get back to you guys. And I was really hesitant about recording today because I felt like, oh, I really don't have a lot to show for the last few days, but, or 10 days or so. But really, once I started stacking everything up, it was like, oh yeah, I did a lot more than I thought. So hopefully it'll be a, a fairly decent episode. I am multitasking. I'm also sitting over in the corner. <laughs> I'm really fond of this plant right now. The sun is hitting at such an angle that if I sat in my usual place, I would be completely blacked out. So we're shoved over in the corner a bit. So hope you don't mind. First up to show you guys, let's jump into the knitting, shall we? Okay. <laughs> These are my, uh, ooh, sorry, sorry knees, uh, <laughs> dry corner cable socks. They are knit with the Jingle colorway of Knit Picks Felici in, no, using US size 2, no, no, US 0, 2.0 millimeter needles. Breathe, Stephanie. <laughs> and they're done. They're done, they're done, they're done. So you can see the, um, if you look at this one, the cable goes up the foot. And then on the back side, there's a cable here and a cable there. And I just love them. They're super cute. And there's some extra yarn long thrown in there that I need to weave in and in. So it's not that they're really that wonky. Um, and they did come out pretty close to matching. So I'm happy with that. Christmas present. So this is my, here's your 2012, no, 2013 update. This is my... 11th pair, 10th pair, 10th pair for the year, completed. So, yay, those are done, they're done, they're done, they're done, except for the weaving end, of course, of course. So those are off the needles. Uh, last time we spoke, I talked about the Peekaboo Mitts by Abby Gregorio that I was working on. I am using US size 6s and lots of different yarns. So, um, let me grab my project bag here. I actually have all kinds more mitts planned and so I upgraded into the big, big bird leg bag. And actually last week after I showed you this one that I love so much, birdlegbags.etsy.com, I think. <coughs> She's on Etsy. I placed an order. I fell down. I ordered three more. Huh. So here's one of them. Medium size. I haven't used it yet. Here's a large sized one. Roland likes this one. He looked at it and said, Abby, 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 like Abby Kid Abby from Sesame Street. And then, oh, that was loud. There's also this one, the octopus. And this one's so cute. It has a little octopus pull tab. I don't know if you can see it. So I started using this one right away. But anyways, yeah, so I guess I've, I'm, I'm devoted now or something. <laughs> so let's see. Let me dig in my bag of tricks here. Okay, so last time... We had these finished, not woven in, right? These are the ones for Jenny, fingerless mitts, worsted weight. Oh, and this color is Dreaming Color Classy Dusky Aurora, I think. Dusky Aurora, okay. And then this is, these are the ones that I was like, I don't know, they're crazy wild. They're not so bad. Uh, there was a bit of cooling action on the palms. I know, you really like it with the confetti strings hanging off them. Yeah, so you can see on this one, blue has to be there. So these are finished. Um, I have to tell you, I have very large hands. I wear a size 11 shoe, so my hands are equally large to give you a sense of proportion. And these are knit exactly to pattern. And I think I, if, I don't know, I think for me, I'd like them like two stitches bigger around. But look at that length. They're very generous, so <clears throat> really enjoyed those. And then the third pair I have is, what is this? I got this at Rhinebeck 2010. So it's been in the stash for a little while. I'd kind of like to count it as some of my oldest yarn, but it's not really. So this is Steam Valley Fibers, I think. 90% sure on that. In the colorway Seahorse, also a worsted weight yarn. Again, really nice, nice long mitts. So I have some choices there on what to give people. And then after these were finished, I got a little like, oh, I want to do something different and fun. And ah. so I cast on with, this is Barocco Jasper. It's a thick and thin yarn 
that has sections that stripe and sections that are just solid. Um, there's heathers, there's all kinds of fun stuff about this yarn. I cast on, I got this far, and it, I just didn't like the way it was working up. Um, why did I pull this off the needle? So it looks really pretty. I felt like it, I know why. I felt like it was just a little too bulky. It wasn't going to be a, for the person I was knitting them for, these should be a, like a fitted pair. And they just weren't gonna be, they were gonna be more like an outside mitten type of mitten, if that makes sense, versus around the office type of mitten. So I pulled those off the needles. This was in one afternoon. I was not having great luck. So then I thought I cast on with this, which is a, I can feel the tag, but it's way in there. It's an Adrian Vitani, I'll link it in the show notes. Also, a thick and thin yarn, you can see it right there. Um, a friend had bought, I think like six skeins, and in a D stash, I got it from her. I love the color, I love the, to the um, marled, heathered effect that it has. It looks like um, a novice is spinning, right? <laughs> High twist areas, low twist areas. Again, just way too, too puffy and I decided that a lot earlier on in this pair and so pulled them those off the needles as well and said well I'll save them and just show them that you know even though it's a worsted weight yarn it might not knit up to the right to the look that I was looking for so I also have some fiber nymph dye works left over from the sweater I knit for Roland oh that reminds me if um, I usually talk about expectant knitter podcast as it's in the links and you can go back and watch it while what are we Knitting Samurai Plus One is safe on blip. Expect it knitter because it hasn't been podcast against in like two years. Got um, axed. So I'm in the process of trying to get those episodes off there and onto somewhere else. We'll see if I can. I might just let it go. That's a lot of work and it's not really, um, for a backstory, I'm not really into it. So we'll see. But if you go looking for it, it's no longer available. So, okay. So that one is, um, also, what I was thinking about, I'm also thinking about this Malabrigo Teal Feather, Malabrigo Rios, the, the multi-ply one. And then this skein of Conat. It's, it's, I don't know. I want to say Colonet Jitterbug. Is Colonet the name of the brand? It, it's their worsted wig. And it's like a jingle bell. I think it's called raspberry actually colorway I've loved this color forever it's one of those two special to use colors so I might um, knit myself a pair with this and then lastly I some of my Rhinebeck yarn which is um, dragonfly fly fibers her traveler base in the ruby ruby colorway which is a super wash it's probably more of a DK weight but this color is so gorgeous look at that there is someone walking around in this house. I'm gonna go. So it's nap time here, so I'm recording, and Daddy has decided, <laughs> Steve decided to go ice skating. So it's a gorgeous day. It's like 50 degrees, and so he's gonna go to an outdoor rink. I don't know how that's gonna work because it's 50 degrees out, but that's where he's headed. So Dragonfly Fibers Traveler, Traveler Base in the Ruby Ruby colorway. Here is how much I have so far. I um, so this is the cup. I was just about to start the thumb increases and it was car knitting in the dark and so I set it aside. He's back again. What's going on? I had some gloves over here. Oh, I put them in the stairs to be washed. All right, thank you. Yep. Have fun. Thanks. <laughs> all right. So that, those are all of the peekaboo mitts that I have on the nails right now. So great quick projects. I think I said this before, four or five hours a pair. Really good holiday knitting. Yeah, so who knows, I might knit a few more pairs just for some relatives that I'm always looking for something and... Did you get motion sick? I'm sorry. Looking for something and I don't know what to do for them. So, there you go. Um, also, so in this bag is something I don't think I've touched, but maybe I have. I think I did. No, I did some card knitting. Um, this past week, I... No, past 10 days. I have done two different market trips, so I've been all over, so for my job, right, I posted some pictures on Instagram of the plane, um, went all over Massachusetts, New York, and Pennsylvania, way all over the place in New York, <laughs> to visit a bunch of different malls and check out the market and get inspiration for our fall 15 line. So had the designers over from London, it was a really good time, um, really enjoyed myself. but. 
during, and it's great to get out of the office. <laughs> Didn't do any souvenir yarn shopping and they were really long days, as I always say, whenever we're out of the office, but it was a good time. So um, during one of those trips, I didn't have to drive. And so I did some knitting and a mid row, of course, of course. So I spoke with you about my progress on my Leading Men Fiber Arts Vodka Gimlet by Baby Cocktails on US size six. This is the industrial colorway. I always hope that you get a better view of the color this week than last. Um, I am, I solved my stitch count problem under the arms by casting on more stitches than she called for to make up the distance, but yet still keep the yoke depth close to what it was on the pattern. I'm hoping that I'll avoid the bat wing effect that I got on my dark and stormy. Fingers crossed, we'll see. I know, I know I could try it on, but I like just gambling and going for it. <laughs> so I am about an inch past that point and I think I have, well I know I have four, five inches to go of straight stockinette, fun knitting, and then I start to do the very cool waistband thing um, that really is the defining feature of the sweater. This is a no button sweater which I'm a fan of as you know. And I speak of my dark and stormy like that. I wore it this week. It's a great sweater. I love it. It's so warm and cozy. It's awesome. Can't wear it with a jacket very easily. But uh, okay, those are the, those are my calculations. <laughs> but anyway, so here it is, and here are my two balls. They're getting squishy. I was thinking, I started at the same point, and they're probably going to end at the same point, right? If I've been alternating every other row consistently, I'm thinking I should break one and then bring in a third ball so that I don't end at the same point and then have to start two new balls. So I might do that, we'll see. We'll see how that works. The colors are very, very similar between the skeins. Like to my eye, I can't see a difference, but that's bitten me in the past. So I don't wanna risk it this time around because I do expect to love that sweater. So lastly, in my new bird -like bags, um, this guy, so, cast on like I had this much just a little tiny bit before we got on the plane and now I have two socks with turned heels going up the leg I did a lot of riding <laughs> in the car as we drove all over the various states um, yeah so I was in the front seat knitting and directing a little bit but mostly knitting <laughs> best work day ever <laughs> So um, this is pretty, right? So this is a two by two rib. If you knit socks, or I, I know for sure socks will qualify. I think anything ribbed, Stephen, correct me if I'm wrong, um, Dramatic Knits is doing a knit along for the month of November for ribbed items. I think it's ribbed socks. But if you do do plain vanilla socks and are doing the style striping knit along and you want to do, um, rib this month you can enter in over there double dip so this yarn has a tag and I will show it to you so this is one of the opals and it is lovely there's what it's gonna look like when it's finished so I think that's self striping right I, from a distance it looks more self striping than it does up close to me anyways but I didn't alternate, I didn't change my yarn sequence, I didn't cut, I just kept one continuous thread going. So you can see I have a real short green stripe up here because most of it went into the heel, but I'm okay with that, I'm okay with that. And I did knit these half a size, half a size, half an inch, so about a size smaller than what I wear. Um, I have a special aunt in mind for these, so we'll see. The last pair I knit for her were also aqua colored, and so, um, I don't know. I guess I just think of her when I see this color. So that's what's going on in this bag. And I think that's all the knitting I have for you this time. I do have a prize drawing that I would like to do. So we have the, um, what are you working on thread? I think is the name of it over on the wrap board. And there were two through 40 posts. So I'm just going to put that in and hit generate. And number 34 came up. So if I flip back, would you like to know what you're getting? This month was a skein of Barocco Vintage that I'm using. 
I knit Roland's sweater out of this, Abernathy out of this, and then I'm doing the Vivid, which is kind of on hold right now. But I'm doing the Vivid with this as well, but this skein is a different dye lot, so it won't match on the blanket, so I didn't want to do that. So post 34 is beautiful. Allison J. I think I send her a package every other month. <laughs> she is doing Allison 123 Malukas this month. Wow, she did three of them. Hers is gorgeous. Mine did not turn out nearly so nice. I'm going to show it. I hope you don't mind, Allison. Um, it, maybe you can see it. Maybe you can. Mine never made it to blocking. I was never pleased enough with it to do that, but that looks really gorgeous. Really gorgeous. So, Allison J, send me a PM and I will drop Anyways, this in the mail. That's you. all I have for you this week. I hope you have a great 10 days or so until we talk again. I'm going to be doing some traveling the weekend before Thanksgiving and then Thanksgiving weekend. So, lots of time out of the office, lots of knitting time, and hopefully some recording time. And we'll get to see each other again soon. Um, the snippet that I did the sunrise to knit by. I am going back to that place for Thanksgiving, so hopefully I can get some more great footage. And until we speak again, enjoy what's going on in your knitting world. And take care from Linus and I. Happy knitting. <laughs> Happy knitting. <laughs>